Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes. But no! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the war. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Leave him be. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? These two were arguing. Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Who's up? See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these. We're like. Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. That was way off the mark. Right target, chest. Good. Center, between the eyes. Not bad. Well, you're not a bad marksman. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. Again. 
Take that! Take that, you oh, whore! Watch your bloody tongue! You! Grab a practice sword! Hit those dummies where I tell you. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Well fought. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Want some help? I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his collar. If the thing isn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Carrot. Mr. Chance. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. I fucking warned you. I won't say it again. Fuck. Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Get off! Oh, 
What is going on <sighs> here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this. On your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! <laughs> Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. Do it yourself then. So, I, uh... Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie. Her grandmother. And now you. <sighs> it's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am, talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You sure you won't have any? 